In some cases, you may need to reset your NAS. There are three different reset modes you can use depending on your situation. Mode 1 is useful for those who have forgotten their admin password or want to move their Synology NAS to a different network. This will reset the admin account's password and network settings back to default. Mode 2 will reinstall DSM. This mode will wipe out all system configurations and carry out all the reset functions done in Mode 1. Lastly, Mode 3 involves doing a factory reset. Not only does it reset system configurations like Mode 2, it will also erase all the data on your NAS. In this video, we will guide you through how to reset your NAS via three methods. A Synology DS920 Plus will be used to demonstrate. You can refer to the timestamps of each topic in the video description. Before you begin, make sure your NAS device's status in Web Assistant displays ready. To access Web Assistant, go to find.synology.com. If your NAS device's status does not display ready, visit the link in the description for further assistance. If you're unable to locate your NAS device on Web Assistant, you can locate it via the Synology Assistant desktop application which can be downloaded from the Synology Download Center. Find the Reset button on the back of your NAS device. For the precise location of the Reset button for your NAS model, please refer to your model's hardware installation guide, available via the Synology Download Center. To perform the first reset mode, insert one end of the paper clip until you can press down on the recessed button. Press and hold the reset button for about 4 seconds until you hear a beep, then release immediately. After completing the previous steps, please reset your administrator password immediately to prevent your account from being stolen and avoid compromising data security. Launch Web Assistant and double-click on your Synology NAS to sign in. Enter the system default account name admin and leave the password field blank before clicking sign in. Set up a new password for the system default admin account. We strongly recommend you use a strong password. Click Submit. Sign in using the admin username and the password you've just set up. After accessing DSM, if you've previously used a different username for your administrator's account, you can go to Control Panel, User, and double-click on the administrator's username. Then go to Info to reset your password. The username used in this example is Synology underscore demo. It's recommended that you disable the default admin account because it's usually the attacker's first choice when trying to gain control of your system. To do this, sign in using an administrator's account other than the default admin. Go to Control Panel user and double click on admin select disable this account then it's done before performing the second reset mode although it will leave your data stored on your NAS device intact we still highly recommend you back up your files beforehand to protect against accidental data loss press and hold the reset button for four seconds until you hear a beep release then press and hold again for another four seconds until you hear a further three beeps. After about two minutes, the status light on your NAS device should begin flashing orange, indicating that the reset has been successful. To reinstall Disk Station Manager, first go to Web Assistant via find.synology.com. Your NAS device should be visible under the Synology NAS Disk Station, Rack Station, or Flash Station header, depending on your model, with the status listed as Configuration Lost. Double-click on your Synology NAS and follow the wizard to complete the reinstallation process. Then it's done! 
To perform a factory reset, instead of pressing the reset button, first sign in as an administrator, then go to Control Panel, Update and Restore, Reset. Find the button Erase All Data. Before you click, make sure you've backed up your Synology NAS because all data will be wiped out completely. This action is irreversible. Type in your password to confirm. Your DSM will now restart. It'll take a couple of minutes and you'll hear a beep when it's finished. After the process is complete, you can use Web Assistant to search for your NAS and do a new installation of DSM. Then it's done. With just a few simple steps, it's easy to reset your NAS and also keep your data safe. To learn more about getting the most out of your Synology NAS, subscribe to the Synology YouTube channel or click on a video to keep watching.